Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about how forgiveness is so important, guys, because I know a lot of you struggle with forgiving others. And no, it does not mean that you need to be best friends with the people that have hurt you in the past. It's about forgiving them, period. And if you want to have a relationship with them again, then do so or pray about it. Sometimes people are in your life for a season and then they leave. So you have to understand, okay, is this person toxic? Is this person someone I can have a relationship again with? Um, and always think like, okay, if I want the Lord to forgive me, I must be forgiving towards others because the Bible speaks on this. In Luke 17, 3, it says, So watch yourselves. If your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them. Even if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. So if someone apologizes to you, you must forgive them. Because if we want Jesus to forgive us, we need to forgive others as well. I also wanted to read to you guys Matthew 6, 14. It says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sin, your Father will not forgive your sins. So guys, we always sin against God. All of us. Sometimes even without us knowing, we sin and it's so important to always be repenting in our walk with Christ because sometimes we don't even think about it, but we sin. So I always try to say, Lord, please forgive me of my sins. If there's anything that I'm doing wrong, please forgive me. And that is so important. But we also have to do that with other people because people are going to make mistakes just like you make mistakes. So that is very important to have that forgiveness in your heart. Also in Ephesians 4.31 says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ, God, forgave you. So if you have bitterness in your heart, you need to pray about it and ask the Lord to remove that bitterness from your heart because that is not acceptable. Any rage, any anger. I know a lot of people in my past life that struggle with this and I had to kind of remove them out of my life because they were so bitter and toxic all the time. And some people just need Jesus. And I know that a lot of us struggle with anger and rage. And I'm telling you, Jesus can remove that from you. So if you're struggling with rage and bitterness and anger, depression, anxiety, whatever it may be, the Lord is the remedy. I also wanted to read 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So guys, don't ever try to hide any sin from God because he already knows. He knows every little detail. And whenever I fall short, guys, I tell the Lord the details. Even if it's hard for me to admit or I'm embarrassed to say out loud, I tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me for this and this and this. And I repent, you know, and I ask him, help me, Lord, to overcome. And as long as we're doing that, guys, we're perfecting our walk in Christ. We're never going to be perfect. We're not robots. The Lord knows that we're going to be tempted. We're going to go through things. But God is so faithful that if we confess our sins, God is faithful. And he will forgive us. But you have to forgive others for him to forgive you. Isaiah 43, 25. I even... I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Review the past for me. Let us argue the matter together. State the case for your innocence. So guys, if we confess our sins to God, he is faithful and he will blot out 
our transgression. Any little thing you've done, no matter how big it is or how small it is, if you confess, the Lord will forgive you. So always be confessing to God. You don't need a mediator for this. God is our mediator. So just go directly to God and say, God, I am so sorry. I am stumbling and I, and I made a mistake and I sinned against you and I repent. And he is so loving that he will blot our transgression. And when the enemy comes and tells you you're guilty, say, I rebuke that in Jesus' name because the Lord is faithful and he has blotted out all of my transgressions. Because I know what happens to me, guys. Like sometimes I'll be like, wow, I really messed up. Like I probably should not have done that. But God is faithful and we need to stay in the word. So we are reminded this because the enemy will come and try to attack us like, oh, well, you had an issue with this person. You're not that great. You're, you're not that nice. But then you remember, okay, I forgave this person and God has forgiven me too. So forgiveness is so important, guys, like, and confessing to the Lord. So in saying in the word, I'm telling you, like, the enemy will try to remind me, like, you did this, you did that, like, what you, you're no longer a real Christian, you're a fake Christian. Guys, I'm telling you, that will come if you're a Christian, that will come and it has happened to me. It happens to me daily. But that's why it's so important to read the word, guys, and to make sure that we're understanding it and taking time to ask the Lord to remove any doubt after we receive that forgiveness. Lord, remove doubt. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. And he will. He does that. He's awesome like that. Um, one more I wanted to read. Acts 3.19. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. That times of refreshing may come from the Lord. So the Lord will give us that refreshing feeling, that calm, that peace from above that we have been forgiven. And if you're starting to feel like, oh no, I wasn't forgiven, rebuke it until you feel that peace Cry out to the Lord and he will help you. I hope this video speaks to one of you guys. I know I need to be reminded this all the time. This is why I'm talking about this again because the enemy will come and put doubts in your head. Like, oh, you're not forgiven. And it's just not a good feeling. But God is so faithful. He left us his word to remind us that he is faithful. He will forgive you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was a blessing to you. Um, for those of you who do not know, I started a second YouTube channel. It's called Heavenly Vlogs, and I will link it down below. It's just me talking about wedding planning and life events going on in my personal life, and I hope you guys subscribe. It would mean so much to me because I want to share with you like what's going on in my life and... Um, I'm going to be uploading the wedding reception place, the Airbnb where we're going to have the small wedding at. Um, so I hope you guys watch it and you like it and it will give like brides an idea of what they can do um, at an Airbnb with a small wedding because of COVID and everything going on. You can still get married and have a beautiful small wedding. So yeah, guys, if you want to check out that second channel, go ahead and um, look down in the description and make sure you watch and subscribe and hit the notification button. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.